Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This video is going to be the final installment of my Glen Rose family reunion slash birthday weekend. This is where I kind of spiraled into a panic attack. You don't exactly get to see that part of it, but I did put in when it happened. Good news is, this is the one where your pal Misty eats watermelon. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Look everybody, I got a piece of watermelon and a piece of cantaloupe. There's no salt, but I think it's gonna be okay. Pray it's delicious, everybody. New favorite, epic disaster <laughs> in three, two, one. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Guys, get you some watermelon. Oh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> so good. Hey, I'm gonna go enjoy this in peace. Yeah, show them how to eat a watermelon. Mmm, so delicious. Is it good, Liam? No, you're shy. It's okay. Tonight's dinner is hot dog with homemade sugar-free chili and cheese. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious. Hello and good morning to you. It's Sunday and it's my birthday. And so what are we doing on my birthday? Bang! Birthday cake bash! I'm so excited! Sort of, because I've heard mixed reviews. Some people say this one is delicious, and other people, not so much. Let's open it up and give it a try. Because your pal Misty needs it this morning. It's a bang. It's really sweet. It's very sweet. It tastes like icing. You know, we'll do we'll do what we need to do. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna drink this bang. I'm gonna say bye to the rest of the family who hasn't already left. Mom's been gone for about an hour or two. And then uh, head out to pick up Barnum and then head home. Uh, and we'll see you then. Well. I decided for my birthday that I would treat myself to a hotel stay at the La Quinta. I was feeling kind of tired and was like, why even worry about it? Sleep on a bed in a hotel. It's your birthday, Misty. Well, hey, little buddy. Did you miss carpet? How's your ear itching? <laughs> no, you're just playing. He's been doing this for like three minutes since he came up here. You wearing yourself out? Hope you had a good vacation. Oh, oh. Well, I decided to stop at Bucky's. And I normally don't stop at Bucky's. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Bucky's. Bucky's is amazing. It's a big gas station chain here in Texas. I think it's about to be branching out to some other states, but you just don't really understand how gas stations should be done until you come to a Bucky's. People have literally done challenges where they will stay at a Bucky's for 24 to 48 hours and do nothing but live off of the food that you can buy inside the Bucky's. You can last way more than 24 hours, but that's the challenge that I've seen. Just gave Barnum some water and decided to pick up a thing. This is a new one for me. Candy Apple Crisp. Sounds good. Candy Apple? Let's open it. Barnum thinks it sounds good. You think it sounds good? You cannot have a bang. I'm sorry, you had some water. Oh, I forgot to count. Three, two, one. New favorite epic disaster. K. 
candy apple crisp. Why do they call it candy? It tastes like a green apple. It tastes surprisingly like a green apple. I'm losing my voice a bit. <clears throat> I don't know if that's... It's so dry. I don't know how I lived in that area for so long. It is so dry up there. My whole mouth, my whole body, drinking bottles and bottles of water a day and alcohol too. So that took everything out of the water that I put in me. But still, uh, let me show you what else I got since I was here. This is my favorite of the Bucky's Jerky, the Bohemian Garlic beef jerky. There are three grams of carbs. It's worth it. It's worth it every once in a while for a couple of carbs in your meat. There is sugar in it. It's worth it. It's so delicious. And then I got my favorite sticks. I mean, I have been here. It's Bucky's. You got to go every once in a while. Normally, actually, I stop at Woody's and I get their garlic jerky and their sweet and spicy sticks. But Bucky's had it too, so I went ahead and picked some up. Um, the sticks also, sorry, hey everybody. Uh, the sticks also have two carbs uh, per stick, but a lot of the beef sticks that you get, like from the convenience stores, will have a couple of carbs in them. And, you know, for a travel day or just for a special treat, again, your promised is okay with that. Uh, the trip has been good so far. Uh, I stayed in the hotel until the very last minute, and then uh, we left. Ran into a big rainstorm. Everybody had their hazards on, whoppers on high. It took a while to get out of that storm. Um, we're probably only doing about 20 or 30 miles an hour at top speeds. Uh, there were some big puddles that you had to run through. So, And then we were stopped for about 30 minutes. I don't know why, though. I never did figure out why. Whatever it was was either done or cleaned up by the time we did get moving and I got there. So it's now a little after 2 o'clock. And I should have been home in about 10-15 minutes, but instead we've got another hour and 15 minutes to go, roughly. So, I mean, not bad overall, considering <clears throat> I still uh, think I made a wise decision of staying at the hotel yesterday. You know, it's one of those things where I was having a little anxiety. I'm going to talk about that, but I was having a little anxiety. I was really tired because I average about two hours of sleep a night on vacation and most of the awake time is hungover so I'm just being really honest right <laughs> I don't party like that very often and I, I, I lost a hundred pounds and keto affects alcohol differently now so I'm gonna add a bit much but I mean, not too much. I, it's not like I blacked out or didn't remember. I remember the mom squad coming for me and telling me that <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. So anyway, we stopped at Bucky's. I wish I could take y'all inside, but I don't know. There's literally hundreds of people. Um, I'll try to get some video of the gas pumps just to show you how many there are. I don't know how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine nine times four so look you're already talking about like 40 just on this side and the other it's probably over 150 gas pumps and that's just for the regular not even for the diesel for the campers and the 18 wheelers this is just for the cars so it's crazy here but if you ever get a chance to stop by a bucky's you should because they have i mean just about anything you think you would want on a road trip but bucky's has it plus about a hundred other things per person um yeah, so I've been listening to some Queen, Greatest Hits. Uh, I think I'm going to catch a podcast with uh, Maya and Bialik for the rest of the trip home. And thanks for coming along. Uh, I think I'm just going to close it out right here, right now. And I don't know what all you're going to be see, but I hope you enjoyed this video. So like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe if you know how, and comment down below. Would you ever go stay in an RV park like we did for our family vacation? Because my family's been doing it for over 75 years. And until next time, I'll see you real soon. Could you, if you could stay out of the blinds while I record that, it'd be great.
because I just need to record for just a second. Thanks. I don't know how y'all do it with kids. I have one dog and he goes always trying to interrupt my videos. Okay, just do your opening and put this video together. Ooh. I think I turned it off. No? No. Hello and happy Sunday to you. It's my birthday and it's finally time. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez, let's just, ever, we're switching hands, everybody. 